Yo. Nice to have you back on the channel. Uh, I hope you're doing well. I hope you like your new perspective. Um, and I want to say big time thank you for 10,000 followers on YouTube. That's kind of an insane number. With all my music channel, I have like 2,000, 1,000, something like this. So big difference and it makes me really happy. Um, makes me kind of believe also that this YouTube thing was a good idea. And uh, for this, I invested in a little bit of equipment. So I have a new mic and soon I have also a better um, stand because in the moment I use a bottle for doing it. <laughs> But uh, when I have a new uh, mic stand, then the mic will be around here and it sounds amazing. Um, no, we don't want fucking males. Okay, so uh, today I want to talk about, again, in a way, about the um, drum patterns for kicks. Because there's this huge thing, should I use a delay? on a kick. Should I use two kicks? Should I use three kicks? Should I use no delay? Should I side chain everything? And I want to just share um, two patterns that I use mainly and yeah, it works. So I share it, short video. So in Ableton, I prepare something for you guys. And uh, yeah, we have like the kick pattern method and the delay method. Let's build the delay method. So we have our uh, normal kick. Simple, I just use a uh, DS kick with a little bit of EQing. Um, then I copy that completely um, and make another pattern, this one. And here we will put now a delay, simple one. And important, make it mono after. find the sweet spot we don't want too much of the bass because we want to give some range for the bass line and also not too much of the click because it's just an under rumbling the, the the second kick and the first kick is then the main and you see we get instant this like interesting pattern like alone we just have this Classic boom, boom, boom. But with this, we get this like. And that's quite nice. We all love a little bit of delay. And then we see in this range, so like boom, tukutukum. I can hear still the delay so I would say just in this area we can make new notes and here not behind so when we go here to the baseline um, I would say the baseline by the way is also DS kick just a little bit more side chain on it and then I would say we go here So one method is you just take um, three kicks, the third kick you build more like a bass line. Let's make the drive down here a bit. Yeah. You see what I mean? Okay. and. Then the first kick stays classic like always. You just check that the click and the, the sound of the kick is um, amazing, like you like it. And then find with the second kick kind of the groove, you know, without this. People build tracks like this and play it in Berghain and then you're like, are you serious? But yeah. We can do it better. And that's one method. So, second method would be again, simple kick pattern 444 four, four, because we are techno producers right now, right? Um, and then the second kick, are you seeing what I'm doing? Like, we are here 
on the one, two, three, four, and then here we go offset one to the right, plus the baseline is then here between. So we are offset on the second one always. And then you see here, I da -dum, da -dum. here just one, the second one I don't do, and here just twos, twos, one, twos, one. And with this pattern, you get this. The baseline have more decay, so makes a little bit more difference. But we get this like dum -tick 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 because of the baseline having a little bit of attack, and the double kick is like a delay. But and here's the thing: I kind of prefer the delay, of course, because the the the, the movement is amazing. Like you're getting like really organic movement. But sometimes when the mix feels yeah really fucked up, then uh, I think it's sometimes better to put the delay away from the kicks and use just a pattern that sounds like a delay. Like in this case, here, it sounds like a delay. Like here. Oops, wait, here. But here we have no delay at all. So we can control how much patterns we want. We can anytime say less or more. So, and when you listen all of this in context, let's use um, first the delay pattern. my elements in the back they don't have sidechain right now so if we sidechain this all also then it goes amazing uh, without the delay uh, we will get this And this is what I wanted to say. So um, play with delay patterns or play with your own pattern that sounds like a delay. But uh, really important is use more than one kick. That's actually what I want to tell you, I think. Um, and bass lines don't have to be always a key synthesizer who makes a melody. It's amazing, of course. But sometimes you can also just have um, a kick that have like a little bit of attack. So it's like because um, in the end it's just a shuffle rhythm all together that we hear as like one element and in this way you also mix it then um, I make always like a, a subgroup and then put like I don't know sauce on top you know um, I know you guys know what to do next I hope the new setup is nice for you and uh, I would say we see us next week like and subscribe the video that helps me and have a great weekend and we see us soon bye Thank you.